we have studied in compressible fluid flow, that is what is Mach number, which is equal to velocity of the fluid to the velocity of sound. And we have seen how to calculate velocity of sound in adiabatic process, isothermal process and through bulk modulus of the fluid. So let us apply all these formulas to solve real life problems on Mach number and velocity of sound. So we have a problem over here which states that an aeroplane is flying at a height of 15 kilometers where the temperature is minus 50 degrees Celsius. The speed of the plane the speed of the plane corresponding to 2 Mach 2.0, we have to find the speed of the plane corresponding to 2 Mach number assuming the gamma is equals to 1.4, R is equals to 287.287 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So now, what extra data over here which is given to us that is 15 kilometers, this is nothing to do anything with the given data. Uh, with the given problem calculating the velocity of sound but if at all the density has been mentioned then density if density is a function of altitude then we will take that into consideration but for normal formulas for calculating the velocity of sound at this much altitude we do not require density so until and unless we require density in the formula which is we know that that is velocity of sound is square root of k by rho if rho is a function of h that is altitude then only will include this 15 kilometers in the problem or else this is just an altitude which is mentioned to us which is not really required to solve the problem so now let us use the data to calculate what is the velocity of the plane so what things we know over here let us write down the first thing we know that is the altitude h that is 15 kilometers which is an extra data which is given to us which is none of our use next what is given to us that the temperature at this altitude is minus 50 degrees celsius so the temperature is minus 50 plus 273 that is in Kelvin which will give us as equals to 223 Kelvin that is the temperature. Next thing that is Galley of Gamma that is 1.4 R is equals to 287, 287 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So all these data are given to us along with that what they have mentioned that is the Mach number is given to us that is equals to 2 and we have to find over here we have to find what is velocity of sound velocity of the fluid pardon me that will be the velocity of the fluid so now what we know over here is the Mach number so Mach number is equals to V by C so we have to calculate the value of V for that we know the Mach number, we should know the value of C. So over here C has four formulas that is C is equal to square root of K by rho which cannot be used. Then we have square root of RT for an isothermal process which is equal to gamma P by rho gamma p by rho which cannot be used or it is equal to gamma rt which can be used for an uh, adiabatic process. So we can use to this formula to calculate the velocity of sound. Once we have evaluated the velocity of sound we can calculate the velocity of the fluid. So now let us use this formula first to calculate the velocity of sound. So c is equal to square root of gamma into r into t so this is equal to square root of 1.4 into 287 the temperature is 223 so this will give us the velocity of sound in air is equal to 299.33 meters per second that is the velocity of sound and value of Mach number m is equal to v by c. So we know this is equal to 2 velocity of the 
fluid upon the velocity of sound is 299.33 so on calculation of this this will give us the sound as 598.33 meters per second so that is what is the velocity of the velocity of the fluid which if we convert into kilometers per hour so that is 598.33 into 18 by 5 so this value comes out to be as equals to 2155.77 kilometers per hour so it is traveling at a at a velocity of 200 and 2000 155.77 kilometers per hour which is considerably a very high velocity at Mach number 2 at that surface at that height so we have calculated what is velocity of sound and then we have calculated what is velocity of the fluid either the fluid is flowing with a velocity of 298.33 meters per second or the aircraft is flowing with a velocity of to uh, 598.33 meters per second either ways we have calculated the velocity of the aircraft or the velocity of the fluid so i hope you have understood how to calculate the mach number or use the mach number to calculate the velocity of sound or we can use the mach number to you to calculate the velocity of the fluid thank you